So today I got something really cool for you. We're talking about the Mayano Caster Light, the AUAM 2000 All-in-One Portable Podcast System. And guys, I got to tell you, this is a really cool and fun device to, uh, to play with. Uh, I've been using this for the past week and I've had nothing but a good time on Zoom calls and on phone calls. Yeah, phone calls. Don't go anywhere. Up next. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Low for Low Nose Tech, checking out the gear you love and giving you my honest thoughts and opinions about it before you spend your hard-earned cash. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and also bing that notification button so you don't miss out on any future videos as well. Okay, so the Mano Caster Lite, uh, the AM2000 All-in-One Podcast System. Guys, I gotta tell you, I've been using this thing for a week and I'm just loving it. If there's one word I gotta sum up for this device, it's fun. I've been having nothing but fun using this device, like I said before, on Zoom calls and on phone calls, which is really, really pretty neat. Just putting all sorts of sources and, and stuff inside of this thing and just really seeing what I can do, right? So uh, as you can see, it's a really fully featured device, uh, mic, music, EQ, and all that stuff. We'll go through all of that later, but for right now I did like a little pre-roll of an unboxing for you. You can just see what's inside of the box and I'll do a little quick setup before we get the details on this. All right, so uh, roll that B-roll. Okay, the Mayono Caster Lite. Uh, professional audio system. Now, this is a portable podcast console, large diaphragm condenser microphone, AUAM200. Uh, and these are the things you get inside the box. You get the deck and you also get a microphone as well. Um, the side of the box, again, some just side box literature. Uh, on the side, you've got your premium, premium audio DSP. Uh, you've got your side chain. You've got a built-in battery. Believe it or not, it's portable. Really cool. Multi-channel mixing, multi-channel streaming, Various FXs and EQing as well. And of course, the side of the box and the front of the box. All right, so let's get inside this box so you can actually see what's going on inside of here. Let's open it up. Come on, let's go. Open it up, open it up. Ah, there we go. All right, so of course, surprise, literature. You got a little happy face card. Uh, we have our user manual. Check that as well. Another user manual. A uh, letter from the uh, from the people who made it. It's a pretty cool letter. That, uh, they actually went through it. And of course, our, our connection instructions, guys. You can do a lot with this box. Of course, we'll see that more of that later. And oh, and here's the star of the show, the Mayono uh, Podcaster Lite. This is a sexy device. You can see all the dials on it. it. Just looks really cool. The buttons feel nice. I'll talk about that later. But yeah, it's really fully featured. You you get the the little stream deck there. You got your faders that come along with it as well. Uh, so I'm here playing around for the first time. I'm like, man, this, you know, this looks cool. I'm, I'm surprised. Like this is the first time I'm checking this out. Uh, oh wow. It's got EQ as well. That kind of surprised me. Of course you have, you have your, all your inputs. Uh, I'll show you another clip because it wasn't focusing here, but, uh, power, you got your lights, USB and all the inputs and outputs that it provides as well. Then you have our, your microphone that comes with. And of course, throughout this entire video, we'll be using this microphone. Uh, you let me know in the comments down below what you think of the sound so far, but it's a, it says it's a 25 millimeter, uh, large diaphragm microphone uh, and of course we'll see how it sounds but through my test it sounds pretty cool so far we have our pop filter uh, we have our XLR to uh, mic output jack so it's not XLR to XLR so um, I don't think you can use regular microphones on this with that cable uh, we have our USB C cable USB cable to USB C cable you can see a little note of, um, by a little tag there what kind of USB cable this is uh, then we also have two, I believe they're, these are TRSSS cables, so if, if I have it right, but you get two of them. These are the ones that you use for your cell phone. And this is a mobile device adapter, USB to uh, USB-C to USB-C in. And then of course we have the neck for our microphone stand, really simple. I'll uh, just put that to the side. And of course we have our, sh uh, our shock mount. Uh, now this is your normal generic shock mount, nothing fancy here, but it does get the job done, but it's, it's, it's one of those standard shock mounts that you get. And of course, we have a nice weighted base here. You can see it's, it's really solid and heavy. Uh, there's no padding on underneath, so it's, it might scrape your, uh, your desk, but it's really heavy. Yeah, your microphone's not going anywhere. So let's close the box. Uh, let's get rid of this thing, and let's put this microphone set together. All right, so we got the base in the center. Let's bring out our neck, and let's just screw this bad boy on. Now, everything feels, everything's got a nice, good weight to it. Nothing's going to tip over. Uh, like I said before, the base is really solid. The neck is really solid. Uh, and it, it all just feels good. I, I, this is my second Mayano pod, this is my second Mayano microphone. I'll tell you, uh, they do a good job with the, the bases holding the microphone. So, you know, I can't poo poo, uh, them on that. Right. And then of course, getting the shock mount on, you just screw it on. You're good to go. There you go. Just looking nice and pretty. Set it down. All right. And then we can grab our microphone and we just go ahead 
uh, clip on the clamp, open it up, and just slide that microphone right in, and then our microphone is good to go. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice looking, pretty looking setup, right? I mean, they, they just do a good job. Uh, definitely wouldn't mind having that on my desk. You know, it's, it's, it's a nice look. Uh, yeah, and now we got our, our Mayuno podcaster live. There it is, looking sexy. Uh, remember, you talk to the microphone from the side, not the top. All right, so back to live footage. All right, so the Mayono caster light. Uh, let's do a, a real quick explanation of the setup. Uh, when you have your card here, it gives you different ways we can actually uh, set this thing up. Right now, we're in just uh, extremely basic mode, the gaming and education mode, okay, where we just have uh, the actual device, right? The microphone is just connected, uh, the XLR straight from the microphone straight to our device to the microphone import. As you can see, there's no XLR here, uh, so it does use a little microphone jack that may limit uh, your use of microphones. So right now you're going to be using through this. Now, through my other uh, test, I was able to do higher quality microphones connected to this. Uh, to this. So uh, check out a video here and I'll show you how to connect higher quality microphones to this little bad boy. Uh, of course, you've got your microphone jack that we're using right now to monitor myself. Um, and of course, uh, we have our USB-C cable going to our laptop recording all the audio and all the effects that are going to be coming from this cool little device. Uh, so let's talk about the device itself right here. Let's look at the setting. We have our little effects right here. Different sound effects that can be used for podcasting and doing things such like. So right now, let's, uh, I can just go press my opening here if we're doing an opening for a sequence. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, welcome to the Low Nose Tech Podcast where we talk about everything tech and all the things that... Sudden interruption, yeah. So that can be your opening thing. You have applause. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are amazing. Uh, flattery will get you everywhere. Why'd you stop? And of course, we've got gunshots, and here's, you know, here's Low Nose Tech. Here I am uh, doing a podcast from the hood. I don't know, whatever. Uh, and then we have laughter. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You like the jokes? I guess not. They laugh. And, oh, no. This is how they do. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't sound like a boo, but, yeah. It's our booing uh, option right there. And, yeah. Oh, and real quick thing. If you're looking at this thing, uh, the device right here, and it looks like the lights are flickering, it's not a fault. It's not an issue of the device. It's just uh, the shutter speed of the camera. So you don't have to worry about flickering on your end. Moving on, we've got the awkward sound effect. <coughs> awkward. Uh, and then we have our slapping. That's what slapping sounds like on this device. And of course, uh, the cheering. Hey, if no, one, if no one else is gonna love you, the kids have got to love you. All right, so let's move over to the right and we have our, our, our effects. And with this effect, it basically gives you preset EQs for the device. So right now we'll switch over to, all right, so this is our pop effect. And then we switch to our, our MC effect. And you can hear like a little slight difference. Sounds a little more fuller with this one. And this is the original where there's no effect on it at all. And the red is for a pro. So you have those different EQ effects for uh, your recording. Me personally, I like the MC uh, effect. It sounds a little more softer. It's got a little feel like it's got some compression and fullness. Um, but we'll just leave it at pro for now. Then we have our uh, another cool part. We have our pitch where we can actually change the pit, a pitch of my voice. So let's play with that. We've got a female pitch right here. And if I sound like a woman, well then, hey. Uh, this is Lone to Tech talking like a woman. Now, I'm kind of stumbling over myself because there's a slight delay when it comes to the pitch, so it's kind of hard to follow. But well, let's check out the next pitch. And this is the male voice with me in my really low, deep voice. And the funny thing is, I'm not even trying to talk low. I'm just talking. It seems like a really low, deep voice. So, uh, what do you say we take out the next pitch? And if this is turning you on, well then, it's turning me on too. All right, next step. And this is the baby filter. I mean, why would you not like a face like this, huh? I mean, go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit all that stuff because we like babies, don't we? Yeah, of course we do. And the next one. Oh, and this is a, a robot. This is the, the YouTube algorithm talking to you, so go ahead, like, explore it and all that stuff. Like, like, subscribe and, and whatever. But yeah, um, I'm going to pretend I'm the man of pastor talking and... I think I'm a pretty cool piece of that. All right, next one. And it goes back to female. Now. In order to get off the pitch, you just switch to effect, and that'll take you off the pitch. Now, next one, you can see the denoise is already on. Now, when you turn this device on, denoise turns on by default. And I got to tell you, for a little device like this, I'm very impressed by the capabilities of the denoise, denoise function. It removes so much background, and at the same time, it has a really nice gate where it just turns off all the ambience as, uh, as well. 
Now, of course, with the denoise, you, you want to make sure that you're actually closer to a microphone. Uh, so you being far away doesn't actually activate the gate. Um, but without the denoise, this is what it sounds like with the denoise off. Now, I'm in a pretty quiet environment as well. Um, there is some kind of, there is some self-inherent self-noise for this microphone, but it's, it's nothing you can't beat. And, and from, what I've, from what I've realized so far, uh, leaving the denoise on is just fine. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, now, if um, you have a button here for music only, what the music only does is it removes the center channel of whatever song you have. So normally the, the vocals are held in the center channel. If you're playing music, you just press that and it'll actually try to remove the vocals. So it may not actually remove the vocals completely, but it'll definitely bring it down so you can actually do some kind of karaoke along with it. Uh, then we have our side chain. Now let's introduce some music into this mix. So I'm gonna play some music from my computer. Okay, and right now you're not hearing it because that's where the loopback button comes in. What the loopback button does, it takes an audio source coming from the computer, throws into the monocaster light, and then brings it back to the computer for the recording that you're gonna hear. So right now I've got some music playing, I'm gonna press my loopback button on, and now I'm gonna introduce the music. There we go. I'm just gonna bring the volume down just a little bit because it might be a little too hot on my end. Okay, so while the music is playing, now that you see that we can introduce music with no problem. Now, you see I'm talking right now and it's kind of getting in the way, so I can do this. I can press the side chain button. And now that the side chain is on, it'll automatically do a ducking to the music that's in the background and just allow me to speak over, speak over it. So if you want to be like a proper DJ, you can actually, um, you know, while music's going on, you want to get your point across, you can just talk and like, you know, let's get back to the music. And you can see how the music just kind of fades away in the background whenever you come back in. So that's what the side chain is all about. Now, while well, I'm gonna leave the, let the music just... No, actually, I'm here adjusting the music on the computer and I actually don't have to do that because let's actually, let's actually talk about the dials. Um, actually, let's talk about the dials for a second. As you can see right here, there is a bit of a dead space from the dial. So you see how I have it at none and then I bring up the min and there's still nothing and eventually it gets to a point where it actually catches finally see so we've got all the space it's kind of like dead um, but whatever and you can just bring the dial up and make the music louder and then it's gonna go to the next track all right so I'm just gonna take the loop back off all right yeah okay so of course this is your um this, this affects the volume of, or the input volume of the music source that's coming in from, your, from either these inputs here or maybe from your computer device. Now let's talk about the mic, uh, mic dial. This adjusts the mic gain of the microphone that we're using right now. And you've also got your monitoring here that lets you know where, you ha ha where, your, where your levels are. Uh, so I like to keep it a part where I'm not kind of overclipping too much as you see them right now. I like to keep it right here. Uh, yeah, so I'm not clipping too much. But yeah, this is your microphone volume. Then of course we have our echo fader where it adds a bit of an echo effect to the device. Then we have our monitor. This monitor uh, adjusts the monitor of your headphones and the monitor or the output coming from here. It really doesn't adjust the, uh, uh, the loudness of the, of the thing of what you're hearing. That is right here, our recording device. This is the output that's coming from the device to our computer or to our streaming device, which should be either our computer or our phone. More on that later. We look right here, we have uh, some EQ for low, mid, and high. And of course, you just play with this and it'll add some additional highs to it uh, for some more granularity. Of course, you can play with the mids. And of course, you can add some more low end into your voice. Uh, you can add low end or you can actually take away low end. But yeah, you, you've got so many good options here that are found in so many other you know, boutique items that it's just giving you this amazing uh, area to work in. Now we have our, um, our area here. You can see there's Bluetooth connectivity. We'll get to that soon. And of course, you can see you have your A, B, C. You've got different notes here. So this also has an auto-tune effect to the device where if you want A major, okay, uh, yeah, B, B flame matcher. I don't know, I'm just gonna go for, uh, let's go for D flat major. All right, so if you want to do like a little T-pain effect or you know get the little auto-tune effect, then go ahead and just sing right now your heart of, you get the idea, right? You can actually add that auto-tune effect to your podcast recordings and let it out. So you can just switch all the way. You can pick all the different ones if you want. Hold, it, hold the button down and it gets rid of it. Now you can see these, button, but these blank buttons down here. These buttons are for, are for custom recording sound effects. So if I wanna add more custom, uh, if I wanna add sound effects to this device, I can. 
um, but I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, check right here for a video on how to add custom sound effects to this device. But super cool. You can already see how you can get so creative with this device. It's bananas. All right, so let's go back to the connectivity. You can see right here, you got this little Bluetooth device right here. Guess what? So you can connect your cell phone to this device through Bluetooth or wired. And I'll let you know what that, what, what that is. So imagine you can just add, you have so many options to add just so many different audio sources to your stream or whatever project you're doing. So let's press play. Let's bring that volume up. And of course, with the devices here, even when we're connected to Bluetooth, these, these controls still apply to what's coming from here. I'm adding the side chain, the noise, so there. Oh, you know what? Let's do the music only. You kind of hear it kind of changes it up. If I can, can I find something uh, that has a voice? Awesome, okay, so I found something with a song. You can hear the person, the talent singing. Now I'm gonna press music only, see what happens there. So there you go, right? It doesn't really get rid of the voice, but it kind of muffles the center channel so I can actually speak over it. It does a fair job, it kind of kind of muffles it down, but it doesn't really remove it. But hey, I'd rather have it there than not there. All right, so let me pause now. All right, so right now we've used the Mayono Caster in this specific way, and there's another way uh, that you can use it. Uh, again, so right now we've done the gaming education, and of course you can do music. You can do music and recording, where it's connected either to your computer, headphones, microphone, and maybe another another microphone or an instrument. But now let's check out the Go computer and mobile streaming setup, which is when I connected it this way, I was like blown away. Like, wait a minute, this thing just got uber cool, what's going on here? So let's do a quick setup for that. What you're gonna do for that, for this is, you're gonna take your TRR cable, uh, it's normally uh, uh, your, your phone cable, right? Because you want the three rings around it so uh, you can actually have conversations uh, through this device as well. Yes, conversations through this device. All right, so what you can do is, you just connect your phone to it, uh, since I have an iPhone, I'm going to connect a little dongle to it, connect the cord to it. And where, th where this goes is to pod one output. All right. Now, from there, I'm going to change my recording setup uh, so I can adjust this. So give me a second. All right. So now we're recording directly to my cell phone with the Manocaster light. Everything is still functional. Of course, the... All being recorded through my cell phone now, uh, and which is really cool. And like I said before, since this is connected to my phone, I can actually have phone call conversations and share music uh, from this device to my phone calls. I can play sound effects during my phone calls. So I can do all of this even through Zoom through my phone and kind of share all of it. At the same time, if I want to have fun, I can change my voice with whoever's listening um, on the phone of course, of course, which really gets a really cool, fun uh, re reaction. So yeah, guys, um, I I think I've I've kind of oh, and check this out. This is probably one of the coolest things right now. Um, I'm still being powered by the PC, but look at this. I'm gonna disconnect it. Uh, I'm still recording on my phone. The manual, the podcaster light. It's got a no, the manual. Yeah, whatever it's called, right? It's It's got a battery inside of it. So you can really go for like true mobile podcasting right now. Like the only thing that's connected is my phone, the microphone, and just the battery that's on oh, my headphones. Like I'm not connected anywhere. I could walk around doing whatever and just kind of using all the effects of this and having like a truly mobile podcasting studio that I can just have so much fun with. So uh, yeah, I, I can't, you know, I'm excited about this product, right? Uh, this is, it's 149. Uh, you've got a decent microphone. It's it's not the best microphone, but it's decent. It's 149. You got an incredible cool device right here in this with all the features that you can add so much stuff to do and, and connect so many things to it. You know, you can add so many different, uh, I can add another audio device to it. No, like I can add two more audio devices to it. I can add external speakers to it. 
And of course, I'm going to add an additional device to it as well. And it's just, it's insane. Of course, you have here, you can turn your lights on and off through the light button uh, here. So yeah, so uh, the manual podcaster light, incredible. Now, uh, I've just gushed about it for this entire time about what I like about it. Let's talk about the things that I wish were better, but they're not deep deal breakers. All right. Uh, number one, when you're monitoring with your headphones, okay, um, you do get a slight, slight latency issue with it, meaning you're not going to be hearing your voice one to one. It's gonna sound like it's gonna sound like there's a slight echo to your voice, but there's no echo. It's only because uh, the, there's slight latency. And you're you're hearing like a slight, like I don't know, half a millisecond delay of your voice compared to what you're actually. Uh, hearing so there, there's going to be that uh, there's the dead spaces within the uh, the dials uh, where I wish it would actually f gradually fade down to zero but it kind of goes from zero and then it jumps to like five or ten you know when you're kind of going up and that kind of works with the microphone and uh, the music as well again they're not deal breakers I'm just letting you know through my uses of uh, my my experiences of using it this is what it uh, sounds like um, and I think out of all of that that's it oh oh and that's right um this part where you hear the microphones, uh, you can connect higher quality microphones to it, but you're gonna have to rig up a separate system. And like I said, I'll sh I'll give you a video on how to do that. Uh, but yeah, I wish I wish the microphone was of a higher quality. But after a while, after doing several tests, it doesn't sound bad at all. It actually, sounds pretty good. You know, it sounds decent for what, what I said. You know, for 149, you get the the manual caster, you get the microphone as well. So you really can't beat it. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> All I gotta say is uh, I'll leave links in the description down below so you can check, see more, uh, see more reviews. But the overall consensus is is that this is a pretty cool device, especially for 149. Uh, a lot more cons than pros. Uh, awesome, highly recommend for beginners and intermediates. If you just want to get started in the podcasting, uh, if you want to get up and running right away and and just have like a, a nice suite of features to work with and and you know with especially with EQ and variety of ways of just connecting stuff. Uh, you're going to have a blast. And especially connect to your phone to it and Bluetooth, you're going to have a blast. What I recommend is for professional voiceovers, no. Is it good enough to record podcasts and publish those? Yes, absolutely. Especially you have the option for two microphone ports. All right, guys, I've said enough. Uh, links down below. Check it out. Uh, any questions that you have, leave in the comment section down below, guys. And until next time, what do you say you learn, do, and share? I will see you in the next video, guys. Take care. Bye. Man, you are just... You are just cool beans all the way. Cool beans all the way. <laughs>